All right, we're live on there. We're live on Rumble. Good morning. Hello and welcome to the State in History, a.k.a. TDH. This show is about what happened to, to date throughout the annals of recorded history. Join us as we delve into yesteryear, not only for an important and interesting happenings, but to possibly even answer questions you don't know you have. The sources of this information come from the smart... Well, actually, don't uh, just comes from the uh, this website uh, on this day.com uh, that I'm uh, right here. Yeah. Anyway, for links to uh, the sources and anything else potentially interesting, please check the underbar of the description below. Uh, and all links scattered throughout the show will, of course, be in the uh, uh, you know in that section after the live stream. Sorry, I forgot to close my blinds. I got kind of caught up with something. So, uh, anyway, uh, I am Ao Xander, and you viewer, of course, are you. We will be joined by the loon hopefully in a little bit. Today is uh, Sunday. No, it's Mon. It's Moon's Day, not Sunday. It's Moon's Day. AK Monday, December 11th, 2023. So let's jump into the history today, shall we? Uh, 359, Honoratus, first known prefect of the city of Constantinople, took office after the Emperor Constantinus created a new senate for the East. Oh, pretty cool. And we have 1282, uh, Lilywin Ab the last native and independent prince of Wales, was killed at the Battle of Orion Bridge at. Uh, Kilmary, near Bulis Wells, South Wales, by forces of Edward I of England. He had reigned from 1259 and is known as Lilywith the Last. Well, you know, he was the uh, the last um, native and independent prince of Wales, so yeah, uh, there goes that uh, bloodline right there. Yikes. So, you know, back in the day, you know, when uh, even the nobles uh, were at threat. Well, you know, the nobles are still at threat, they just uh, forgot that today. Anyway, uh, we also have 1395, John Eleanor Reichener, a male cross-dressing prostitute, was brought to court in London for committing that detestable, unmentionable, and igno ignominious vice in late medieval England's only recorded case on same-sex intercourse. Verdict is unknown. Wow. Um, <laughs> yikes, man. Like, uh, you know, th this, is, this is why it was hush-hush back, back in the day. Like, you know... There's still persecution and such throughout the world, but not, not in the U.S. Um, really, uh, but this is, wow. Um, welcome to the show. Well, thank you. And uh, like, I'll reread this because this is like, this is a pretty like wild article right here. Uh, 1395. John Eleanor Reichener, a male cross-dressing prostitute, was brought to court in London for quote committing that detestable, unmentionable an ignominious vice, in quote, in late medieval England's only recorded case on same-sex intercourse, and the verdict is unknown. So, wow. Like... 1395? <laughs> I know, right? Huh. Like, that's... Yeah. That's pretty... That's that's a pretty, uh, pretty wild uh, article right there. Yeah. Anyway, moving on to 1419, heretic Nicolas Serrier was exiled from Florence. All right. Well, he was a heretic, so... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, at least that's that's better than getting uh, destroyed, like uh, you know, in Warhammer Warhammer 40k. You know, if you're a heretic, they just kill you on the spot, like ceremonial execution, you know, all that stuff. Sounds about right. Yep. 1477, Duchess Maria of Burgundy ended the great privilege in states of the Netherlands. Now, what is that? The great privilege. Like, let me just look this up here really. Here we go. Great privilege. Uh, it was an instrument signed by Mary of Burgundy on February 11th, 1477, which uh, reconfirmed a number of privileges to the States General of the Netherlands under this agreement. Uh, the provinces and towns of Flanders, Barabant, Hainaut, and Holland recovered all the local and communal rights which had been abolished by the decrees of the preceding Dukes of Burgundy, Charles the Bold, and Philip the Good in their efforts to create a centralized state on the French model out of their separate holdings in the Low Countries. Whoa. That's a... Uh, <laughs> Some pretty pretty heavy stuff right there. So great privilege. So it was giving back the rights that were slowly being taken Take away. away. And dukes and things. Yeah, by dukes. By dukes, yeah. Yeah. But I mean that's 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 really, you know, uh, relatable to, to what's happening today. Like, you know, like all the stuff, you know, like the Patriot Act. Yeah. You know, like yeah. you know, that's just one example. Like all this, all the stuff that's been slowly, methodically stripped away over the past 30, 40, 50 yeah. some odd years. Like, the, uh, man. What the uh, founders were really fearful of and why there was such a fight took so long to really settle the Constitution 
They're afraid of uh, government overreach, overpower. And rightfully so. Yeah. So, uh, moving on up, uh, we got 1477. 1602, surprise attack by forces of the Duke of Savoy and his brother-in-law, Philip III of Spain, was repelled by citizens of Geneva, commemorated since as Fete de uh, l'Escalade. I didn't pronounce that right at all. <laughs> you don't think so? Huh? I, I really don't believe so. <laughs> Um, but yeah, okay, you know, they, uh, they push them back, that's cool. Yeah. 1618, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth and the Sardom of Russia agreed to the truth of, the truce of Deluyano, um, ending the polish Muscovite War that had lasted between 1605 and 1618. That is a 13-year war. Yeah. That's a pretty substantial right there. Yeah, they used to last a lot longer. Oh, well, you know, 100 years war, yeah. you know, and all that yeah. stuff, so... 1620, the Mayflower Pilgrims came ashore in Plymouth Bay, traditionally thought to be at Plymouth Rock, Massachusetts. New style is December 21st, or whatever NS means, I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's, that's really interesting, you know, like, um, like, all this talk about, like, you know, like, you know uh, ocean levels rising and all that stuff and whatnot. Yeah. Well, see... The you know the 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 pilgrims you know, landed you know like you know sixteen twenty here yeah at what it was believed to be Plymouth Rock right and Plymouth Rock is still at sea level nothing's changed in four hundred years that's a little weird you know yeah I guess like unless they moved it like I'm not entirely <laughs> sure but I mean you know like I've seen the argument online it's like oh all these people talking about you know climate change yada 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 which you know the, the climate change is real you know it does it does yeah. happen. But as far as like everybody doomsaying about the ocean levels rising and you know because of all the uh, polar melting and all yeah. that whatnot, yeah, um, like unless they move the physical rock because there is the actual physical rock there, you know, yeah. unless they moved it. And the one thing I always hear about, oh, it's not as big as you think. It's yeah. not. It, it's just this crappy little rock in a, in a hole in the ground, actually. Yeah. Um, but it, it's right there, you know, on the sand. And unless they actually moved it, then it's been at sea level this entire time, 400 years, nothing's changed. So, you know. Anyway, 1665, Messiah Shabbat Sui Festival in Samaritia. Okay. Messiah Festival. Cool. 1688, King James II was captured in Kent after trying to flee to France upon the arrival of William of Orange. All right. So remember when uh, I believe we spoke about this yesterday, uh, his wife and child, or was that the day before? I don't know. Um, fleeing or something. I don't remember. Huh. Uh, 1719, the first recorded display of Aurora Borealis in North American colonies, mm. New England. Oh, cool. Mm. So that must be way north, though. But still, like, that is, that's kind of south when you think about it. Was it Aurora Borealis? Uh, no, that's not that south. But, I, yeah, I don't, well, I don't know. Maine isn't even, like, in the Arctic yeah. Circle, is it? I don't think so. Yeah. How far south does it go? I mean, there are recordings, you know, rare... But, you know, being uh, seen as far as northern Japan, I, re I remember okay. talking about that. But that was after some weird, crazy thing. So, which, by the way... I'd love to see it, to tell you the truth. By the way, you missed it yesterday. Uh, one of the things we spoke about, speaking of, like, you know, the Aurora Borealis and the sun and everything, there is a sunspot, a hole has opened up on the sun, uh, big enough to fit, like, 63 Earths or something. Mm. It's, it's, it was crazy. It's a big old dark spot on the sun. It, 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 it's like it's opening up its mouth or whatever. It's horrifying. Mm. Huh. Yeah. Do they have any predictions of what that means to us? Uh, we didn't really look much into it. We just, you know, we're just talking about it and, and all that stuff. When and, did that happen? Yes. Uh, well, we you spoke about it, it yesterday. But well, what year uh, was it? Do you remember? Well, it's recent. Like, uh, Alice, uh, Alice submitted it um, actually earlier yeah, yesterday oh, so or something. maybe it wasn't in their history show. No, 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 it wasn't in the history. It oh. was, uh, no, no, it was oh, uh, the Peanut, because okay. I know you weren't here for the Peanuts, right. and we didn't have a history show yesterday. Right. So, that's right, we didn't have a history show yesterday. It must have been on Saturday. Anyway, moving on up to 1730, Voltaire's tragedy, Brutus, appeared in Paris. All right. I only brought that up because, you know, like, uh, it's, it's Voltaire, and we all know about Brutus. He's uh, the one who killed uh, Caesar, right? Or something. Sounds right. I can't. Or, yeah. Like Brutus was one of the yeah, thirty-one yeah. people who stabbed him to death. Uh, Seventeen ninety-two. France King or Francis King Louis the Sixteenth went on trial, accused of high treason and crimes against the state. Yikes! So I uh, I believe. Uh, let's see. 
uh, yep, execution by guillotine, January 21st, 1793, so that's the next uh, year. So yeah, obviously they found him guilty and killed him uh, next month. Yeah. So, yeah, a month and a half, give or take, you know, from now. That's uh, that's uh, the death penalty stuff, that treason and all that. Yeah. yeah, well, France, you know, doesn't mess around. They didn't, at least. 1812, we have the first newspaper in Curaco, Curaco Gazette and Commercial Advertiser. Cool. 1816, citizens of Geneva thwarted Saviard invaders. That's an interesting way to say it. They thwarted them. You know, them back, I guess. Yeah, well, you know, yeah, they, they, you know, they repelled them and all that yeah. stuff. But, like, you know, we don't say thwart that often. No, you know, no, we know. Like, they, you know, So I was just like, yeah, that's an interesting way to say it. 1816, Indiana became the 19th state of the Union. Mm. And this is actually, like, leading up, because um, I believe, because uh, this is when it really started, the, the lead up to the Civil War... And, you know, as, as, as all things go, it starts off political. Of course, um, yeah. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is, you know, like, at around this time, and I believe, you know, this is when it's first going to start. So uh, what I'm saying is for the, you know, for the next, um, for the next, like, month or so, we're going to be seeing a lot of states being admitted to the Union and all that stuff. Okay. Uh, that's, uh, you have a, a battle uh, in Washington between anti-slavery and pro-slavery you know politics and all that stuff, yeah. and uh, the North and the South, uh, you know, or, or, or whatever. Like, and I'm not explaining this that well, but essentially they started admitting new states to the Union to have another seat on their side, right. or to uh, um, or to oh, balance things out if, if if the opposing one, you know, has a one up on them. And the majority of our states were created during that war. Ah, didn't realize. Yeah. That. It's all to have a one-up or to balance things yeah, out, no, you know, no, or all that it, stuff. What it means, yeah. And then, uh, and then it it, it 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 wasn't being enforceable. It was enforced, actually, it was enforceable, but it was you know, like all the all that stuff wasn't being enforced in the northern states and everything. And the principle of our nation is no taxation without representation. Right. And if we're gonna sit there and say, okay, you know, we will give you this, you know, like if if we if we play the game and we. Um, we, what's what's the word um, uh, compromise you know uh, with with an opposing party then you know you got to back up your your words with actions you know especially you know if you're a government you know and you have laws to uphold and all that right. stuff we weren't abiding by our promises to the southern states involving things about slavery and whatnot like you know escape slaves send them back which we didn't and all that stuff so they're like, hey, we're paying taxes, and you're not backing up what you said to appease us. What the hell? Yeah. You know? And then, you know, so, like, you know, the the, the, the the justification was very valid for them splitting off. They really had a reason to, you know? And then... Yeah, yeah. Well, everybody so, just looks at it as slavery, but that wasn't the... Uh, that was an issue. That was their the economy, order. though. Like... Of course. Yeah. So, of course. And once you start messing with a man's money, you know, there's really nothing more you can mess with that deserves, a, you know... Some some violence, so yeah. But anyway, yeah. So like you know, I, I that whole rant brought to you by Indiana becoming the 19th state of the union. <laughs> but but still, like you know, it's really interesting. Yeah, the majority yeah, of our yeah. states no, no. in the the civil war before the violence. You know, yep. crazy, huh? Anyway, moving on up to 1844, the first dental use of nitrous oxide in Hartford, Connecticut. Hey, good news for people like me. Yeah, yeah, knock yeah. me out. 1862, the Battle of Fredericksburg in Virginia began between Robert E. Lee's Confederate Army of Northern Virginia and the Union Army of the Potomac, commanded by Major General Ambrose Burnside. So we were just talking about the, the battle before the war, and now we're in the war. And what's really interesting is Ambrose Burnside. You want to know why his name sounds so familiar? Why? Sideburns. Oh. That's where they come from. Ah, the okay. Burnside. The, the, yeah. Look at his beard. So if you, if you grew, Cyber. you know, these, you're, those are sideburns from yeah. his namesake, I yeah. believe. You know what? Let's look it up, actually. Uh, where does sideburns come from? Uh, sideburns take their, take their name from General Ambrose Burnside, a Civil War veteran and Rhode Island senator. He was not a great general, but remember his luxuriant facial hair to this day. The original sideburns were called Burnsides. So, yeah. And that's like kind of like a like a like a biker beard type thing, like yeah. So, yeah. No, so I, I was right. It just ended up flipping. Yeah. 1866, first yacht race across the Atlantic Ocean, schooner's fleet wing, Vasta 
and the Henrietta with uh, New York Playboy Gordon Bennett on board left Sandy Hook for the Sicily Islands. The Henrietta won. I, I wonder if that's the same. I don't, I don't even want to mention that, but like that's uh, that's a uh, yeah yeah that's a phrase that's uh, you yeah. know well known. Yeah. Uh, 1872, Pinnicky Benton Stewart, a uh, pinch black, took office as the first African American U.S. governor in Louisiana. Okay. Louisiana, of all places. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. 1878, uh, the Anglo-Zulu War. This is before the war, actually. This is leading up to it. British High Commissioner Henry Bartle Frere presented an ultimatum to the Zulu Kingdom to submit to British rule or face war. And, you know, like, we were not right in this at all. We were an invading force coming in and just taking, like... Well, we were submit Britain. No, no, no. Well, I mean, like, you know, by, by we, I mean the British people, the West... Yeah. You know, I don't mean the U.S. You know, but so you know, British specifically. Yeah. Like, but you know, the Fr French did this. Spain, of course, did this. You know, with Central and South America, and you know, what they did with Mexico and the Aztecs, the Incas, the Mayas, all that stuff. So I mean, like, but could you imagine? You know, that mentality: submit to British rule or face war. Are you kidding me? Wow. <laughs> like, huh. It is kind of funny. Like. um you know, like, a as the meme goes, uh, back in the day, the British used to rule a third of the world. Yeah. Now the third world rules British. <laughs> uh, anyway, 1882, Boston's Bijou Theater, the first American playhouse lit exclusively by electricity, held its first performance, W.S. Gilbert and Arthur Sullivan's comic opera, Iloathi. Okay, whatever that one is, but that's pretty cool. The first uh, playhouse lit exclusively by electricity. Before that, it was all yeah. like gas lamps or yeah, like, you sure. know, candles and all that stuff. Yeah. That's kind of crazy, you know? Yeah. Like electricity, we take it for granted today. It's only been around for like 140 years. You know, it's not really that, not, that no. old. It, so, it isn't. Yeah. You know, oil lamps were, were the thing. Uh-huh. And speaking of, of the things and whatnot, 1888, French Panama Canal Company failed. What the French, uh, they were, the French were trying to make the Panama Canal. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 So, so they, so there was two or three different things that tried to make uh, the Panama Canal. I, I know France I only was know before France. France, and then there was us, and yeah. then you know we we actually did it. We did it. But yeah. like, you know what? I I know we've looked into this before, but uh, how many attempts Panama Canal? Let's see here. Um, how many people try to build a command of canal? Uh, yeah, uh, no, yada yada, okay, it's not telling me what I'm trying to find. Which country failed in its attempt to build, yeah, that was, uh, Kent, um, the France. Um, uh, the Panama Canal was first developed following the failure of a French construction team in the 1880s. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe it was just France and the U.S. Um, I'm not sure. Because it's not... That's it, all I know of. Yeah. That's all I know of, too. Anyway, 1893, 11 fishing ships washed up at Wadden Sea. 22 were killed. It must have been some kind of, like, tsunami or something. Oh. And in 1896, Chief Electrical Engineer for, of the British Post Office, William Priest, gave a public lecture in London called Telegraphy Without Wires, praising the work of 22-year-old uh, Gulli Giannimo Marconi. Ah, uh, yes. We've spoken about Marconi before. Um, but, yeah, wireless telegraphy. So, like, you know, um, telegraph. Yeah. You know, dee 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 But transmitting it wirelessly. Yeah. Like, to this day. Like, like I ask you. Like, you know, like, like people think they're so smart. Do you know how wireless technology works? Do you know how we can, like, you know, ping things on a, like, a radio sound frequency, pick that up, transfer that from, you know, something to something else? Yeah. You know, both receiving and, you know, sending. Yeah. yeah. You know? And, like, and, you know, wireless, like, sending a picture. Yeah, it's, you know that was what 1936 or whatever, like the first wireless fac facsimile, the first fax. Like, yeah, that's surprising. Oh my god, how dude! That was like you know, like people just need to stop and like understand, like okay, what is in my hand? Yeah, you know, like, like this magic rectangle. Can can you truly comprehend? You know what's, what's in here to make that work? We you just know? take it for granted. It's yeah, part of your life. Yeah, you know Joe Rogan has a bit. You know that just covers that all of that like. You know, just really great. Anyway, um, you know what? I'm going to add that to my underbar. Hold on a second. Uh, Joe Rogan 
Uh, yeah, it was this one, Devolution of Stupid People. So copy link. Uh, yeah, like, you know, people should watch that one, honestly. It's, it's, that expresses everything I have to say about that point. Anyway, moving on up, 1902, the U.S. signed a treaty with Cuba allowing for a 20% reduction of tariff uh, rates on imported Cuban products. All right. So working with them a little bit more better. Uh, one year later, 1903, British forces under MacDonald and Young Husband marched into Tibet. That's interesting. But once again, you'll remember they owned a third of the world. So, True. But like, oh, that's right. They did own uh, Hong Kong, so they wouldn't be that far from Tibet. Huh. That's interesting. Was Tibet under British control, do you know? It sounds like it. Hold on a second. Was Tibet under British control? Let's see here. In the 19th century, the British had conquered Burma and Sikkim, with the whole southern flank of Tibet coming under the control of the British Indian Empire. Okay. Well, that was India. Yeah. So that's, that's yeah. yeah, Tibet, that's right. Tibet, like, is kind of like right between there, yeah. India yeah. And, and China. Uh, what else do we got here? 1905, uh, 120 degrees Fahrenheit or 49 degrees Celsius in Rivi, or in Rivadavia, Argentina, South American record. Wow. December 11th and 120 degrees? Hell. This the southern hemisphere, so that's I know, but, them, but still. That's hot. Yeah, that's hot. 1905, a workers' uprising occurred, establishing the Shuliavaka Republic in Kiev. Huh. All right. 1906, U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt attacked abuses of the Congo. All right. You know, probably because, like, uh, the whole, like, like what was that um, uh, political document that, like, like that the Western Hemisphere is our territory, you know, the Monroe Doctrine, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. 1907, New Zealand Parliament buildings almost completely destroyed by fire. Yikes. That's not good. No. Uh, two years later, 1909, colored moving pictures demonstrated at Madison Square Garden, New York City. Colored moving pictures. Mm -hmm. Animation. Colored animation. 1909. Like, you know, once again, the technology, like, you know... Well, animation is drawings. Well, yeah, but this is colored. I know. Of yeah. moving pictures, though, not animation. Well, it's still, like... Yeah. Well... No, okay. Yeah, it is. okay. Whatever the moving pictures are, okay? Yeah. Now, okay... If it's a colored photograph, then that means that we've achieved colored photographs. That's that's another technological advancement. If it's moving pictures of that caliber, then there's that. If it's just animation, it's just people drawing stuff. Yeah. So, if it's actual photographs, you know, that's even more technologically advanced. And so, I, I, yeah, it's it, it, I don't know. I, I'm, it just it just blows my mind. You know what people have figured out throughout antiquity. Uh, anyway, 1913, Mona Lisa recovered two years after it was stolen from the Louvre Museum. Oh, I didn't Dang. know it was stolen once. Oh, it had been stolen multiple times. Has it? Oh, yeah. Actually, hold on. Let's see here. Um, how many times Mona Lisa stolen? Um, oh, the Mona Lisa has been stolen once, but has been vandalized many times. It was stolen on August 21st, 1911, by an Italian Louvre employee who was driven to the act by his Italian patriotism. What? <laughs> so, he loves his country, so he's going to steal the Mona Lisa. That makes sense. Uh, but yeah, here we go, 1913, so two years. So, that, yeah. So it's only been stolen once. Okay, I thought it, I thought it had been stolen more than that. Uh, 1914, Stockton Street Tunnel in San Francisco was completed. All right. 1917, and this is not good. 13 black soldiers were hanged for participation in a uh, Houston riot. Yikes. Mm. Not good. So I, I, you know, what, what is the Houston riot? Um, I've never heard of it. Let's, let's look that up here really quick. Houston riot. Let's see, 1917. We've... Well, I've, I've clicked this before. Uh, also known as the Camp Logan Mutiny, uh, was a mutiny and riot by 156 soldiers from the all-black 24th Infantry Regiment of the U.S. Army, taking place on August 23rd, 1917 in Houston, Texas. Okay. So, well, that's uh, background. Um, shortly after the U.S. declared war on Germany in the spring of 1917, the War Department rushed to construct two new military installations. Yeah. Uh, the regiment traveled to Houston by train at their camp, uh, precipitating causes. Well, if anybody wants to read more about this, like, because, like, I, uh, uh, Houston, um, riots. Did I spell Houston right? 
H O U S T O N. Yeah, um, I want to know like like what what caused this. Um, so the soldiers soon received reports of impending violence by an angry white mob. Oh, okay. So it was angry Southerners not happy that there are blacks there in their black NIMBY. Okay, I see. So that's what happened. But then, but then we hung on the soldiers defending themselves. That is. Well, that I don't know if you have the full story. That, that can't that, be right. That doesn't sound. That's right. well. I mean, like, like it could have been. Who knows? Things were really different back then. Yeah. yeah. I, I got to read more about this, but yeah. Um, anyway, let's move on up here. 1917, German occupied Lithuania proclaimed independence from Russia. All right, I'm all for independence. 1919, Bull Weevil Monument dedicated in Enterprise, Alabama. What? Um, Bull Weevil, like like the the little I worm. I believe that was a uh, political group, wasn't it? Like, um, like the Democrats and Republicans. Oh, here we go, Bull Weevil. Weevil. Um, Downtown Enterprise, Alabama. There we go. Uh, prominent landmark and tribute erected by the citizens of Enterprise uh, to their their appreciation to an insect, the bull oh, weevil, no, it for it is profound influence on the area's agriculture and economy. I thought you were right, like, but apparently you weren't. Um, First time this year. I almost made it the entire year with no mistake. Damn, I just missed it. <sighs> Close, but no cigar. You, you always have next year. Yeah, you know? give it a shot again. Start from scratch. Yeah, but it's all the way down there. So it's so all it really vandalism. Oh my god. <laughs> so it's a monument towards an insect. So let's see, bull. Um, Deville monument. All right. Uh, got capital the W there. All right. So anyway, um, what else do we got here? 1925, Pope Pius XI published encyclical Quas Primas. And, you know, like, I, a couple years ago, started, like, paying more attention to the encyclicals because, um, you know, they're, they're basically, like, you know, religious memos. Like, you know, like, oh, did you get the memo in the office? Did you get the, the TPS report? You know, whatever. Yeah. It's like that. It's like, it's like okay, this is what we're going to focus on, you know, in this quarter or whatever. Um, but uh, Quas Pramos provides a powerful application of the meaning of this feast for our practice as believers. Okay, so Christmas dinner and stuff is coming up, so... Mm -hmm. Uh, Christ must reign in our minds which should assent with perfect submission and firm belief to uh, re revealed truths and to the doctrines of Christ um, whatever that means so if anybody wants to read more about this encyclical you know like um, yeah I'm going to add this uh, down here what was it called uh, Q-U-A-S Primas Quas Primas so yeah there you go there's a uh, get you started on that little uh, potential rabbit hole and stuff. 926, Leo O'Connor is unbeaten on 143 as Queensland wins their first Sheffield Shield ma match by five wickets versus New South Wales at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Yay, cricket. Yay. <laughs> I put that in there in hopes that you'd be here today. Uh, you are. <laughs> yes. Great. Thank you. 1928, Buenos Aires police thwarted an assassination attempt on President-elect Herbert Hoover, prevented anarchists from bombing his train. Holy crap. So, There's that word again, thwarted. Yeah, well, was, was it thwarted? Was it thwarted? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, no, like, uh, you know, like, what good goes to show, especially when abroad, you know, they, the heads of state need security. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They try to bomb his train. Good Lord. 1930, Bank of the United States closed in New York City. Ooh. Uh, well, that's, that's kind of ironic. Yeah, that's good. It's kind of ironic. We lost the Bank of the United States, and the Bank of America was actually originally the Bank of Italy. Yeah. And Italy is in the inventor of fascism, and with how the Bank of America acts, and, you know, Apple didn't fall far from the tree in that aspect. So it's just like, yeah. 1931, Japan left the gold standard. I did not know they did that. That's not intelligent. No. 1931 as well. Statute of Westminster gave complete legislative independence to Canada, Australia, New, New, New Zealand, South Africa, and Ireland as a, in the free states, and Newfoundland, which was then not part of Canada. So later did become part of Canada. Yeah. So, but like you know, still like you know, Canada is independent for the most part. Like we have this conversation every now and then, but to a certain degree, they still like. I'm not sure if they answer, but they still operate under the British crown to some percentage, whereas Australia is completely and totally independent. Right. 
right. Because I, I don't know to what degree, but you're right. They still because they have parliament, they have prime ministers. You know, they operate under a similar government system, and they still, you know, their currency has British monarchs on them. So, yeah. you know, well, they still recognize as a figurehead the King of England. You know, and they still look at that as their king, but that's a figurehead. They rule themselves. Yes. Yeah. It's kind of kind of funny. I, I almost corrected you with Queen of England. I'm like, wait a minute. No, not not anymore. No. <laughs> no. That's weird, man. Yeah. My whole life, you know? Yeah, mine too. Yeah. Your whole, yeah, that's right. Your whole life. Yeah. Wow. Well, not anymore. Well, up to when it happened. Anyway, 1932, San Francisco's coldest day, 27 degrees Fahrenheit, and it snows. All right. Yeah. yeah. 1934... The 1935 All-Star Game was assigned to be in Cleveland. Okay. While that was going on, we have the first Toronto Maple Leaf penalty shot. Uh, Conchonier unsuccessful versus Rangers. Okay. I don't know what that means. I don't either. Uh, then the National League voted to permit night baseball up to seven games per home team. <laughs> <laughs> For the year, seven yeah. games, huh? Mm -hmm. 1936. Uh, Edward the Eighth announced in a radio broadcast that he is abdicating the British throne to <coughs> marry Wallace Simpson. So, you know, like all this uh, hoopla people have been making over, you know, because like uh, within the past ten years, it's been what two or three people like abdicating their throne to pursue um, relationships. I don't. Know. It's been two people at least, I think. I have no idea. Like, um, but it's interesting, you know, like all the way back in 1936, we have you know somebody else, like you know. That's the, the famous one. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, but still, like, you know, the, the, that aspect, it's not that outlandish, right. you know? Because, like, the media always, like, sensationalizes everything. It's like, no, oh, it was my outlandish God. in 1936. It was a big hoopla. Oh, well, of course. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, you think about all the stuff that's happened, like, recently, you know, with, like, you know, Prince Harry and all that crap, yeah. I think. Like, yeah. did he abdicate his throne or, or whatever? Uh, he gave up. You no, know, he doesn't have the throne. Or or his, 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 his royal... He did, but I believe he's, they've reinstituted him now. Oh, I, I don't know. But, but like, the, the way they sensationalize it, they make it seem like it's never happened before. It's like, no, it has. You yeah. know? Oh, yeah. So, and, you know, another reason why, you know, history is important, so that way people know, you know, things are not as important as they seem to be on the media. You know, don't buy into the crap. So, don't allow your ignorance to be used to milk you. Uh, let's see here. What else do we got? 1937, Italy withdrew from the League of Nations. That's, uh, yeah, they, well, yeah. I, I was just talking about uh, the fascism and all that stuff. Yeah. Well, that was just a couple years before the outbreak. And they probably did that because they wanted to uh, go to war with uh, various African nations to take over for colonies and whatnot. Because they literally, like, and, and I don't mean, like, I, like I, I don't know how close it was, but I'm talking an aspect of like months, weeks, maybe even just days. They finished the war in, um, oh, what was it? Uh, Ethiopia, I believe, uh, to take it over as a uh, as a colony. Um, and then Germany invaded Poland with- You're talking uh, Italy here now, right? Yes. Okay. Italy finished the war with yeah, Ethiopia. Okay. okay. So probably why they, they backed uh, out of the League of Nations. They wouldn't be able to do that without starting political problems. So they just backed out, you know, Without having to deal with their, you know, BS, so to speak. So, you know how politics yeah. are. Yeah. Oh. Anyway. It's like Turkey just left NATO. Oh, oh, that's not good. Yeah. Oh, no. I did not know that. Yeah, it happened a few days ago. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, you think they're going to work with Russia for a pension movement? Uh, I don't know how, but they're already talking to Russia. So oh, man. Okay. It's more about Ukraine than you know what? Like, let me let me put that into the peanut right now because I do want to talk about that actually. Um, let me do that really quick. Hold on a second. Where's where's the peanut? Um, okay, we'll we'll do that in the rumble peanut. So, uh, Turkey uh, left NATO already talking with Russia. Uh oh. All right. Anyway, let's move on up here. 1938 National Football League Championship. Polo Grounds, New York City. New York Giants defeated Green Bay Packers 23-17. Record title game attendance 48,120. That's a bunch. Mm-hmm. Whose team is the Packers again? 
Uh, Alice's. Oh, that's right. <laughs> it wasn't me this time, Alice. It wasn't me. I, I, I was asking. There are fans. I'm just asking who they were. <laughs> Uh, 1940, Russian General Georgi Zhukov warned of German assault. Oh, good old Georgi. Now, um, yeah, like, uh, he was portrayed in uh, Death of Stalin. Like, he was a real badass. Um, but yeah, like, once again, born in the peasant's family, worked yeah. his way up and all that stuff. Like, um, he, he was, a he was a, 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 a ruthless guy. So, like, he, he got the job done. <laughs> 1941, Australian State Cricket Association, South Australia, Victoria, Queensland, and New South Wales decide at meetings with new Prime Minister John Curtin to abandon all interstate first-class matches for the duration of World War II. Cricket. So, you know, at least yeah. it, you know... They banned it, though, for a while. Yeah, well, they didn't ban it, they just suspended it suspended, until the end yeah. of the war. Yeah. Oh. So. 1941, Axis powers, Nazi Germany, and fascist Italy declared war against the United States. Yeah. Yep. Now it's official. While that was going on, the Dutch government in London declared war on Italy. Uh, once again, we spoke uh, the other day about the Dutch government. They're in exile, you know, like much yeah. like how France eventually became. Yeah. It probably is by this time as well. But see, like, you know, like, I, I, I like the energy behind it. But how can you declare war on a country when you don't have one yourself? You know, yeah. Like, 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 you know. Like, I'm not knocking the act. You know, don't get me wrong. I really appreciate it, but it also, at the same time, it's kind of silly. We, the Dutch government in exile, declare war on Italy. With what? <laughs> you don't even have a country. What are you doing? You know, like, I, I don't know. Anyway, 1941, Japan uh, or Japanese attacked Wake Island, the only failed World War II landing. Hmm. So I guess like that was their only failed landing. I can, you know, like there's um. Uh, of course, um, uh, oh, why can't I remember it? Oh, they took over all kinds of Oh, yeah, no, but I'm trying to remember specifically uh, Guadalcanal, I think, uh, was where, um, um... Well, we defeated them there, but they took it over. Well, no, 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 I, I'm, I'm trying to think of, like, a specific moment in history. Uh, Douglas MacArthur, we said he'll be back. Yeah. What, what was that, Guadalcanal? The Philippines, the Philippines, you're right, the Philippines. That's where it was. So, yeah, but this was the only time, um... You know, uh, the only one of them that they failed. And while that was going on, Japanese uh, occupied Guam. So, you know yeah. what you're talking about, you know. But that's why we, you know, as I said, that's why we put that whole embargo and everything on them. Because they were taking everything over. Extremely aggressive. Yeah. You know, it's just like, hey, you know, if we're going to be a world community, we got to do something when a portion of the community is attacking a lot other portions of the community. Otherwise, why are we a community? You know? What's the point? Anyway, uh, 1941 as well as well, New York Giants acquired future of Baseball Hall of Fame first baseman Johnny Mize from Cardinals for three players and fifty thousand dollars. I probably spelt that said that right wrong. Johnny Mize, Mizey, I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm not familiar with him. That's 1941. I'm too far away. Okay. Uh, 1944 surprise attack on House of Keeping Acts. Twenty nine prisoners were freed. House of Keeping Acts. What is that? I've never heard about that. Yeah. Odin's Keep Axe House. What? No, hold on a second. Let me just look up this entire uh, article. Uh, surprise attack on House of Keeping X. Okay, well, that just tells me that it happened. Rescue at Capitoum? Um, I'm not sure. Well, I'm not getting anything. Um, Allied war crimes during World War II. Battle of Monte Cassino. I'm getting all sorts of things. So if anybody can tell us more about this House of Keeping X... Uh, in the comments section, that'd be great. 1945, Het Parole published first Captain Rob strip. Um, is that a comic strip? I have no idea. Captain Rob strip? Capitaine Rob? Um, oh, it said a comic here. Yeah, Adventure Comics. Capitaine Rob. I'm not getting any images here. Huh. That's too bad. Yeah. 1946, Hank Williams began to record on Sterling Label. Mm. Now, what is Sterling Label? Like I'm just running into all sorts of questions here. Oh, okay, so, yeah, okay. I was wondering if it was, like, some kind of, like, type of record or whatever, no, like... Like RCA or, or whatever. Okay. They had record companies. Okay. Never heard of them, but, yeah, they were around at the time. Huh. In 1946, Spain was suspended from the UN. I wonder what they were... Oh, probably because of, uh... Well, well, that's after the Second World War. Yeah. So... 
I, why, I wonder why, because like they had already been under Francisco Franco for a while. Um, oh, here we go. Convinced that the fascist state was imposed to this, on the Spanish people by force with the help of the Axis powers, which it helped during the war and did not represent the Spanish people, making it impossible to participate in international affairs of the Spanish people with the United Nations. So basically, they were, they were, the UN was busy, you know, with well, the UN was formed after. World War Two. That's right. It was pretty new, right? Yeah. In 1946 had to be brand new. Yeah. So, so they're just like, oh hey, so you know. Every, everybody probably transferred from the League of Nations into yeah, the UN. They and did. They kicked some out. Well, like, yeah, they did, and then like, then they realized. Well, they didn't realize, but they brought forth like, hey, Spain was just really being, you know, shitty. So let's just kick them out. Like, never mind them. You well, know? they made their the UN made their own own bylaws, and they probably didn't meet the criteria of the bylaws. Like the League of Nations. Yeah. Anyway, 1946, the United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund, UNICEF, was established by Resolution yeah. 57I of the UN General Assembly. All I right. Didn't know it went back that far. Yeah. yeah and, I, and I still, like, you know, really wish at least once I had trick or treated for UNICEF. What does that mean? Well, that was actually, there was a whole, like, promotional thing. Like, they, they had commercials and everything. And, you know, when you went out and trick or treated, you know, you went out with, a, with your yeah. bag of candy. Yeah. But if you uh, signed up for a thing, then they then they gave you, like, uh, what you actually, like, you know, uncollapsed it, but it's like in a little box. Mm -hmm. And you went around, and instead of candy, you collected a penny from every house. Oh. You're trick-or-treating for oh. UNICEF. And I then see. you then I you see. send that in, and it's yeah. a donation. Yeah, I got you. So, I'm trying to equate candy to uh, trick-or-treating. No, 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 no. Instead of candy, like, yeah. oh, like, may okay, I have a I penny, got, please, now you, instead. Now you connected the dots. Yeah. Yeah, so like, and, and I, I really loved that idea as a kid. Like, I wanted to go out and do that, but I, I never did. So, but at the same time, it is you know kind of like, kind of sleazebally, you know, to turn something you know that a kid would enjoy into like, you know, a monetary well, gathering. Collecting. You know, the way you explain it, anyways, you're at, while you're collecting candy, ask for a penny for you to sell. Not take a penny instead of candy. Yeah, well, I, I didn't put that together. I, I, yeah. I was a stupid kid, you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm a stupid adult. <laughs> um, like, nothing really changed. But, like, I, I thought I could have one or the other. Oh. Like, I didn't. Yeah. I mean, like, hell. Like, here, story time. My first job, like, my very first job, you know, ever, you know, it, it, it was working at, um, at uh, Home Goods. Yeah. Um, but I could have been working at that Papa John's. Like when yeah. they just they were looking, yeah. I could have been a manager, and I would have been making another um, like a whole. I think it was a, a dollar or more an hour. Then now you know this is this is how stupid I was and probably still am, if not worse, you know somehow throughout the years, you know. But um, and I for whatever reason the extra dollar, you know, I was like I didn't. I didn't equate it a dollar an hour. I just thought it was just an extra dollar on my day. <laughs> so I'm just like, well, if I'm going to be spending the extra money I'm making on the bus ride to and from, gotcha. then what am I doing? Yeah. But I could have, I could have started off, you know, my career as a manager, my my life, you know, very first job as a manager, and how different everything could have played out, wow. you know, like and just, just for that one you. stupid little hiccup, like I, I just wasn't thinking, you know. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> I, I, you don't know how that would have worked out. You may have hated and left in, in a couple of weeks. Who knows? Who knows? But you know, with, with how things went with home goods, you know, I don't know. Like you know, I don't know how things could have been worse. Anyway, moving on up to 1947, Pacific Coast League application for major league status was rejected. Hmm. In 1950, British physicist what? Pacific Coast League. That yeah. was a Triple A farm league. Pacific huh. Coast League. Los Angeles Angels were in the Pacific Coast. League. Oh, okay. So they're trying to make it a late major league uh, league. Uh, major league status. That would be a league. That would be an equivalent uh, to National American. League. Oh, okay. So they were trying to. Instead, we got not forty-seven. Hmm. And instead, ten years later, we got the Dodgers out here. I had no idea they tried to become a major league. Uh, yeah. Okay. We'll see. You know, right there, questions yeah. you don't even know you had. Yeah. You know. 1950, British physicist Cecil Frank Powell awarded Nobel Prize in Physics for his study of nuclear processes and the discovery of the pion. What is the pion? Let's look it up. It's probably some kind of particle or something. Pion, 
a meson having a mass of approximately 270 times that of an electron. Oh, okay. So, for further reading on the pion, I'm going to add this uh, here. So, pion, peon. I think peon is spelled some P E O N. Yeah. Hence the E. Uh, 1951, Joe DiMaggio announces retirement from baseball. Yeah. All right. And two years after that, we have KTVA, TV Channel 11, and Anchorage, CBS, became Alaska's first television station. <laughs> awesome. One more year, 1954, Philadelphia Phillies owners reluctantly purchased Connie Mack Stadium, which is Shy Park, from the A's. So reluctantly. So he was like, you know, buy it, buy it, fine, I will, jeez. It was probably part of some deal that they didn't want it, but they had to mm. take it as a package if they wanted whatever the other thing was. Uh, yeah, kind of like how uh, TV bundles work today. Mm. Like, you know, I just want to watch this channel. Oh, well, that's too bad. You have to pay fifty four seventy seven a month, to, and then that comes with this and that and this and that and this. But I'm never going to watch any of that. Well, oh, that's boo-hoo. Yeah, you know? but you have it. Yeah, well, great. And they wonder why people went to streaming. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, 1954, USS Forestall aircraft carrier christened in Newport News, Virginia. Okay, we got another aircraft carrier to our fleet. 1958, Upper Volta, which is now Burkina Faso, gained autonomy from France. 1959, Emilio G. Cer uh, Segre and Owen Chamberlain were awarded Nobel Prize for Physics for discovery of the antiproton, a subatomic particle. So yeah, you know, we have the protons and the antiprotons, you know, and all that stuff. Yeah. 1960, Black Sunday, riot in Algiers, pro-independence demonstrations turned violent, causing the deaths of 114. Yikes. That's not going to look good on your record, you know, on either side, you know. 1961, Elvis Presley's Blue Hawaii album went number one and stayed number one for 20 weeks. Wow. That's a long time. That's a weird way to spell weeks. Why can't you just put in, like... Like, are you so you strapped for cash? You, yeah. Like, you've, but you just, you know, E-E. -E. You yeah. know, like it's it'll take you yeah. half a second, like yeah. that. Like that sounds like someone who's on, on such a tight schedule. They're microwaving their pop tarts. <laughs> like, you might want to loosen up your schedule. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you got it. Yeah. Uh, Brian Regan, right? Yeah. 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 Insert the pop tarts <laughs> vertically. Oh no! Oh oh. oh. What's vertically? <laughs> You start insert the verdict pro principle. You uh, throw it out the window. <laughs> there are instructions. You know, I, I can confirm. I've looked on the back of a box of pop tarts, and there are instructions for both for uh, toasting, for toasting and, and microwaving. <laughs> Here's that frying your pop tart. You need to loosen up your schedule. <laughs> anyway, 1961, JFK provide U.S. military helicopters and crews to South Vietnam. Oh, here we go. 1961, Motown. Remember that? Yeah, of course. Released, uh, or their records released, Please, Mr. Postman, by the oh. Marvelettes. It is the group and the label's first number one pop song, topping the charts for 13 weeks. I remember that song well. Yeah, I got, I, you know, I want to listen to that. Please, Mr. Postman. Please, Mr. Postman. I'll listen to it after the show. All right. Oh, that's remastered. Oh, the Beatles. No, I want, I want Motown. Oh, what, what were the Beatles on Motown? No. Okay, Motown. Wait, uh, I said uh, the Marvelettes, so hold on a second. Marv. I thought it was the Supreme, but obviously I was wrong. Second time this year. There we go. The Marvelettes, there we go. That's what I want. All right. Uh, we also have 1964 Time magazine called Susan Sontag one of Manhattan's brightest intellectuals in a review of her groundbreaking essay, Notes on Camp. All right, whatever that means. And speaking of uh, time, we're going to have a couple more people of the year, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, kind of fit in the same pocket as, you know, the, the German chancellor did in the 30s that they, that they said, you know, a good old you know, mustache man from Austria. Uh, 1964, Che Guevara spoke at the United Nations General Assembly in New York City. An unknown terrorist fired a mortar shell at the building during the speech. Whoa. Uh, what the hell? Evil dude. Wow. Killed a lot of people. Yeah, he did. And, you know, the lefties just celebrate him. They have like, his shirt, you know, yeah. and all that I stuff. Know. They have no idea what evil they're broadcasting. 1967, 6.5 earthquake in West India killed 170 people. That's a lot, but, you know, in, like, you know, with, with, with you know, it being in India, that's actually a low number. Like, you know, I, 
I don't know if that's offensive or not. Like, it's it's true, you know. Well. Like, it still sucks, you know. Like, because you know, there's a lot of them, and they don't have the well, best. Depends uh, on where it is, you know. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. So I, that, that's not a fair statement. But go ahead. Well, I mean, like you know, then I have this other one here, and you know, this is I think it it kind of rolls into it. Pun not intended. But 1967, a 6.6 earthquake. So same date, same year, yeah. same and same area, I think. In uh, Kayangar, India, killed 177, so that's roughly the same amount yeah. killed, and injured over 2,000 and damaged the uh, Kolia Dam. Ooh, so, that good. yeah, so like you know, this just, um, yeah, I don't know why they don't combine these two. I think they, they are the same thing. Well, so, it could be, an av- and I don't know if they are close to each other. India is pretty big. True, but the, you know, roughly could the be same. An aftershock, you know. Well, it's roughly the same magnitude, roughly the same amount of kills, you know. So, uh, well, I'm going to look this up. Where is Kalyanagadar, India? Uh, let's see. If it's in western India, um, let's see here. Uh, images. Map. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's western India, so I think I think this might be the same thing. Or maybe it is two different earthquakes. I don't know. Like... Maybe it is. Maybe that's why there's a discrepancy. I don't know. Anyway, 967. Speaking of the Beatles, their Apple Music signed its first group, Grapefruit. What? Yeah. And apparently, there is a group called Grapefruit, and they were signed by Beatles' as Apple Music. No. While that was going on, the People's Front for the Liberation of Palestine, the PFLP, was established. Yep. Liberation of Palestine. 1967, supersonic airliner prototype Concorde was first shown in France. Yeah. Yeah. 1968, U.S. Soccer Football Association refused to let Nazzle disband. Okay. I guess the North American Soccer League, I maybe. Uh, we also have Libya adopting their constitution 365 days later in 1969, so that's pretty cool. Then in 1970... Was Gaddafi around in 69? I think he was. Um... Uh, Moammar Gaddafi reign. Uh, it's 42, yeah. 42 to 2011. Wow, that's a... Actually, no, that has to be I his life. Be. That has yeah. to be his life. Yeah. Um, ruled Libya from 69 until his killing in 2011. Well, okay. So he, that, he came into power so that year. this might be... Uh, well, I mean, this is near the end of the year, so he, if he's not in his power yet, he will be, like, very soon. That sounds like... Maybe this is it. Yeah, maybe that's so, his power. Doing yeah, it. yeah. Sounds like it. Yep. Uh, what else do we got here? 1971, a bomb exploded outside a furniture showroom on the mainly Protestant and Loyalist Shankill Road in Belfast. Four civilians, including two babies, were killed and 19 others were wounded. That is awful. Yeah. Wow. Two babies. Yeah. That's... Words cannot express. That is just... That's awful. Uh, 1971, the Liberation or li- the Libertarian Party of the United States was formed. Hey, I'm an there. Yeah. Are you still a uh, Are you still I, a I Republican am. or are you no, a no, no, uh, Libertarian? All oh, right. Like, they, you know, and and leave it to this country. Kind of I thought they'd grow much more than they did. Yeah. They, well. They well, you know, especially the 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 candidate apparently from 2020 was a complete not good. Like I had no idea. I just wrote in Vermin Supreme. The Libertarian candidate. I was having a yeah. conversation yeah. with uh, Jacob Peach just last night, um, you know, about it, and uh, I didn't know about what's her face. But no, anyway. Um, but no, like uh, it was funny. I used to be a conser- uh, uh, yeah, registered Republican, you know, like back when I first uh, turned eighteen. I registered yeah. for registering for vote. You know, I was on the Republican okay. Party, you know, and all that stuff, yada yada. But then, like, um, there is some some kind of uh, like we were going to the store. We were going to grocery. Sh- uh, shopping, you know, mom, you and I, we were all there and everything. And uh, I just randomly asked, "Oh, like, do you know how I can change my political party?" Because like, I wanted to switch to libertarian. You know, after you had told me about them and I had looked into them, and I'm like, you know what? I'm more of a libertarian than a than a Republican. You know, than anything yeah, else. Yeah. Like, I'm, a, I'm a libertarian constitutionalist. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, and then like you know, right then and there, like, oh, I have the form. Yeah, so right there, before we're going in from our at a grocery store, yeah. only in the United States. Yeah. Can you do that? You know, just so well, you can sign up for first time. You can change your party. You yeah. Can, you know, do whatever you want. Yeah. 
as far as registering. But see, you know, that makes me think, what's stopping somebody from just changing their party, like, every day? Can you, do people do that? Like, that has got Why to... Why do that? I don't know. Just to, just to watch the world burn, you know? And like, I don't understand these uh, primaries we have, where you can, and we can do it here in our state. Uh, didn't used to, but you can now. You can cross over. What's the point of having a party? Yeah. If I can go and bo vote Republican or Democrat instead of Libertarian, what's the point? Yeah. You, you, it's a primary you join for something, your party. You join something because that is something you believe in, and that's the flag you fly. But you know? do, I, do I want a Democrat or Republican voting in the Libert Libertarian primary? Why would I want that? I, I don't know. It's a primary for your party. That's a good conversation for the peanut, yeah. maybe. Anyway, 1972, U.S. astronauts Eugene Kernan and Harrison Jack Schmitz become 11th and 12th people on the moon. Cool. All right. Yeah. And 1972, you know, like, and see, here's the thing. Like, you know, I was just thinking, like, some people, and, like, you know, even I, like, almost didn't add this into the show because, like, you know, 11th and 12th, whoop de doo mm -hmm. But have I been to the moon? No. No. <laughs> so... You know what? Give to the moon, Alice. To the moon. Give credit where credit is due. 1972, New York Jets Don Maynard became all-time pro reception leader at 632. I wonder if that's been broken. Probably. So, um, all-time pro reception leader. Um, oh, yeah. Let's see here. Let's just look that up here. Um, who is the reception leader uh, all time? Jay Rice. Uh, yeah, Jerry 1, Rice. One thousand. Yeah, yeah, Jerry Rice. Rice. I was trying to think from San Francisco. One thousand. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. yeah, it's been broken by leaps and bounds. <laughs> so, all right. Nineteen seventy-three. Houston Astro Center or uh, Houston Astro Caesar Cadenio jailed for the death of a nineteen-year-old woman. What? What happened? Oh, is this the one? Like, like. Is this is this when he like hit the like the foul ball or something hit a woman and killed her or something or um, oh here we go authorities said Sedino and the woman were drinking and playing with a gun oh uh, god oh no I don't need to read oh, the rest I remember that they tried to hide it or something yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah wow yeah. that is stupid yeah. that is stupid yeah. drinking and driving is is you know already like you know like you know how I am with driving yeah a gun. That's another level beyond that. Like, oh my god. That is that is idiocy. That is idiocy. Uh, 1973, NA Soccer League awarded LA, San Francisco, Seattle, and Vancouver franchises. Mm. All right. Part B. 1973, West German Chancellor Willy Brandt normalized trade with Czechoslovakia. All right. 1975, U.S. first class postage raised from 10 cents to 13. That's a hell of a jump. Yeah. That's 30%. That is, yeah. 1977, Mayor Reid, Corrigan, and Betty Williams, leaders of the group Peace People, that's concerning, an organization dedicated to encouraging a peaceful resolution of the Troubles in Northern Ireland, received the Nobel Peace Prize. All right, yeah, so you know, the Troubles, all, it's called that for a reason. There's a lot of Troubles going on, so. We also have in 1978, six, uh, six masked men bound 10 employees at LaFonza Cargo Area at New York City Kennedy Airport and made off with $5.8 million in cash and jewelry. All of the participants and some associates were later killed on, uh, on order of the alleged organized crime mastermind. Oh, man. Mood never recovered. Whoa. Oh, man. That's literally like something out of like the first scene of uh, The Dark Knight. What do you mean with the Joker? Oh, yeah. Well, he, he kills all the henchmen, you know, yeah. to have all the henchmen kill each other yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. Like, you know, you know, wow. That is, that is, holy crap. Uh, 1979, Geoff Boycott scored Cricket Century in a limited over international. I can't even got Cricket in here. Well, because of his last name, Boycott. <laughs> That's why? Yeah. Oh, good. Whatever you do, I didn't care about uh, the cricket part really. It's just like you know, what a name! Like, because because if he does something bad, that that means you boycott the boycott. <laughs> and wouldn't that be a like you know like how do you boycott a boycott? That's like that's like uh, um, it's easy. Like, you boycott boycott. Yeah. 1980, Magnum PI, starring Tom Selleck, premiered on CBS. Yeah, yeah, it was a good show. Yeah, it was. 1980 as well, the Comprehensive Environmental Response Compensation and Liberty Act, known as either CERCLA or Superfund, was enacted by the U.S. Congress. That sounds shady. So, do you know anything yeah. about that? Uh, not that 
Uh, yeah. let's, uh, let's look at... God, why am I yawning so much? I guess I need to go out for a walk or something. But, um, let's see here. Um, the program is administered by the Environmental Protection Agency. Oh, that's, that is shady. Um, so, yeah, let me add that into the, uh, the underbar section. So, uh, C-E-R-C-L-A, Circula. Oh. All right. 1981, Argentine President General Roberto Viola fled. Yep, Argentina. You know, oh, always okay. the rest. Yeah. So, 81 as well. We have the El Mozote Massacre. Salvadorian armed forces killed an estimated 900 civilians oh, in an anti guerrilla campaign during the country's civil war. Jesus. Like, that is. That is. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's why people gotta stand up before it gets to that point. You know? Stop rolling over. 1981, former world heavyweight boxing champion Muhammad Ali's 61st and last fight lost to Trevor Burbick by unanimous decision in 10 rounds at Queen Elizabeth Sports Center. Oh, God damn it, what's going on with me? Nassau, Bahamas. Uh, pardon me, uh, um, uh, Jewel Chicky for the GD right now. I'm just, I'm just incessant yawning. It's annoying me. 1981, Space Lab 1 arrived at Kennedy Space Center. Yep, our space station. Space oh, Lab. Oh, okay. Yep. 1983, first visit to Lutheran Church by a Pope, John Paul II in Rome. Good old Grandpa yeah. Pope. Yeah, John Paul, you know, he did a lot of firsts, did a lot of, you know, a lot of things. Yeah. You know, like, He's say, pretty progressive. say what you want about the papacy and Catholicism in Vatican City, you know, which I would most likely not argue with anything anybody has to say about that. But John Paul II, you know, he's, he was really good, you know, like... I'm, I'm pretty sure some people out there don't like him. I mean, like, you know, they had to invent the Pope Mobile because people kept trying to kill this guy. Like, I don't know why. But, uh, but yeah, as far as I'm aware, he was a great guy. A great Pope. Great, just a great human being. You know? Uh, it's just it's just too bad the position he held has so much dark, you know, you know darkness in its, uh, in its uh, you know, skeleton closet, so to speak. Anyway, 1985, computer store owner in Sacramento, California, killed by a package bomb. Whoa. Oh, man. That's not cool. No. What's going on? That. Yeah, we were, like, a couple weeks ago spoke about uh, some some random mayor somewhere dying from a letter bomb. And it was just like, like you know, people really did, you know, send explosives through postage to yeah. kill people. And that's just, that's pretty crazy. Uh, 1985, Dow Jones closed above 1,500 for the first time, specifically 1,511.70, whatever that means. I'm not an economist. Uh, while that was going on, Gen General Electric acquired RCA Corp. and its subsidiary, NBC. Ooh. General Electric, a power company, now owns a TV station. That's, yeah. uh, you that know, that's kind of like, you know, like propaganda potential right there, you know? Buy our power, make us a monopoly, you know. Kind of like how uh, SoCal Edison, you know, is a monopoly out here. They can do whatever the hell they want with our electric bill. We have no choice. I hate that. Well, you got a little bit of choice. Now you can do solar. Well, which is subsidized through SoCal, you know, Southern, uh, uh, SoCal Edison. Well, you got it's all connected. Them, yeah. yeah, it's all connected. 1985, NHL record 62 points scored. Edmonton 36 defeated Chicago 26, 12 to 9, and tied record for 21 goals. All right. 1986, South Africa censored press. It's during uh, the last throws of apartheid. Yeah. So, before uh, Nelson Mandela um, got out of prison, did not die yeah. in prison. You know, hence the, the whole yeah. Mandela effect and everything, which I yeah. finally made you aware of not yeah. too long ago. Yeah. What else do we got here? 1990, the U.S. 69th manned space mission STS-35 on Columbia 11 returned from space. All right. And we were talking about this yesterday. 1991. Oh, hook, yeah. hook, 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 yeah. hook, yeah, yeah, yeah. hook, hook. A swashbuckling. I love that. It's a swashbuckling <laughs> film sequel to the Peter Pan story, directed by Steven Spielberg and starring Robin Williams and Dustin Hoffman. Premiered. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. 1992, a nor'easter storm hits New York doing billion dollar worth of damage. How many billion? Was it one billion? Is it plural? Like, no, no, look, right here. Yeah. It's just a dollar sign that says billion. Billion dollar sign. Like, it doesn't give me a number. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> okay. 
1994, Russian Federation forces attack the city of Grozny, beginning the First Chechen War, in which the Chechen Republic of Ishikrida gained its independence from Russia. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, they got attacked, and then they gained their independence. That's a, that's a rarity, but pretty cool. Yeah. You know? 1995, Thomas O'Hicks bought the NHL Dallas Stars for $84 million. Okay. Yeah, pardon me. In 1997, delegates from 150 industrial nations attending a UN climate conference in Kyoto, Japan, reach an agreement to control heat-trapping uh, greenhouse gases. Yep. 97 as well, federal judge ordered Microsoft not to bundle IE4 with Windows. Whatever that is. They, they needed a federal judge to tell them not to bundle it. So what, I well, don't... Well, yeah. Like... Creating a monopoly, you know. Ah, uh, okay. That would make sense. Which they did anyway. It's 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 actually more like a co-monopoly. If there's anything like like, is there a word for like like uh, a bipartisan monopoly system? Because <laughs> because you either you're either with Microsoft or you're with Apple, yeah. or if you're smart, you're with Linux. Which I still got to figure out how to get into Linux. I'm not sure if Linux can do, you know, what I need to do. Although I'm very simple and everything, I just gotta I just gotta figure these things out. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, 1998, Thai Airways Airbus A310-200 crash near Surat Thani Airport, killing 101. Yikes. Where did it crash? Uh, Surat Thani Airport. Where is that? Uh, well, let's see. Um, it's uh, Surat Thani Airport. Uh, International Airport in uh, Hua Thoi, Thai, uh, Hua Thoi, Thailand. All right. Uh, we also have, uh, finally in the year 2000s, 2001, the People's Republic of China joined the World Trade Organization. That is a very dangerous thing right there. It Yikes. That way. Oh, man. And in 2002, I added this just for our resident Wisconsinite, Alice Phil Blalis. Uh, Joe Sackick scored his 500th career goal at Vancouver. Mm -hmm. All right. 2005, Cronulia riots. Thousands of white Australians demonstrated against ethnic violence, resulting in a riot against anyone who thought to be Lebanese and any and many who were not in Cronulla, Sydney. These are followed by ethnic attacks on Cronulla. Nah, oh, jeez. It, it just never... It never goes good for anybody whenever things turn violent. Yeah. You know? Like, no, yikes. It doesn't. 2005 as well, the Bunsfield Oil Department in Hemel Hemsfield, England, was rocked by explosions, causing a huge oil fire. Yikes. So, we also have 2005, Twyla Tharp's Rock Ballet Moving Out, set to songs by Billy Joel, closed at the Richard Rogers Theater in New York City after 1,303 performances. That's pretty good. That's yeah. 2006, International Conference to Review the Global Vision of the Holocaust was opened in Tehran, Iran. By Muhammad Ahmadinejad. Um, wow. Oh, you know, we're still talking about the Holocaust. Like, why don't we ever talk about what Russia did to themselves? You know, what what Japan did to China? Like, you know, why why are we you know, like you know I'm, you know Holocaust happened. The Holocaust was awful. I'm not going to dispute that. But there are other things that were far worse. What, you know. What, what culture did the Russians start? The, the Bolsheviks. No, no, they took over. Yeah. You're talking about just the farmers and everything? Or? Yeah, well, it was, it was uh, a culture of people, you know. And they basically took all their food to sell on the world market to raise capital. Oh, yeah. Well, they left them to starve. Yeah, just all the farmers and everything, the peasants. I want to say that there was. Uh, um, uh, Russian genocide. Let's see here. Uh, no, that's modern day. Hold on, World War Two. Um, Soviet Jews? No. Um, no. no. Um, uh, it was their own people. Yeah. Uh, Russia killed their own people. What culture? Star their own people. Uh, Circassian? No. Uh, uh, how far back is that? This uh, is, I don't know. This is when... Uh, the Bolsheviks took over. The Russian Communist uh, Party took over. So, who did the Bolsheviks kill? Um, starve, I guess. Star, star. Um, kill the star. Who did the Bolsheviks starve? Five million Russians during the Great Famine. Yada yada. It's not telling me uh, who the name. 
How many people died? How did the Bolsheviks respond to the famine? Who was responsible? Um, it's it's not telling me the, the name of the people. On. If anybody can figure that out, please let us know in the comment section. Anyway, we're going to move on up here. Uh, where were we? Um, 2007. Two car bombs went off at the Constitutional Court building in Algiers and the United Nations office. An estimated 45 people were killed in the bombings. Holy crap. Really? Like... You know, like that's that's a lot of people with just yeah, two car bombs. Like, that's a lot yikes! Of uh, 2008, Bernie Madoff was arrested and charged with securities fraud in a five billion or in a fifty billion dollar Ponzi scheme. Yikes! It's amazing that that guy pulled off. Yep. Even his own family didn't, and they sons work for him, and they didn't even know it. Jeez, what a scumbag! 2009, Angry Birds, a Finnish puzzle video game, was released internationally. <laughs> what a stupid! I, I remember that. Yeah. All right, like, and a game a lot of people don't really remember is Flappy Birds. And, I've never heard of that. And that's, well, it's, it's, it was such a crap game. And there's been so many spin-offs and such of that. But, like, you literally, like, you, you have to tap to flap. And, but you have to, like, here, like, let me show you. No, like, let's not go no, there. No, Flappy <laughs> Birds. Flappy Birds. No, no, I'll just show you, like, like it's literally, like, you have to tap, you know, to, to, to you go, go up. up and down. And no, 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 but you go down naturally. So you have to navigate your yeah, way through yeah. the pipes. And it gets harder and harder. Yeah. And that was Flappy Bird. Yeah. So, yeah, really, really stupid. Um, but I, it, I I had it on not my current phone, but my previous phone. Because, like, eventually it was taken off the market. But if you still had it on your phone, now you have digital, like, you know, archaeological, like, you know, stuff. Yeah. It's no longer available. You know, right. And once it's gone, it's gone. Like you know, like unlike real world, you know, it's it's well, you can delete stuff in the real world and stuff, but you know, you get what I'm saying. Anyway, 2009, Tiger Woods announced an indefinite leave from professional golf to focus on his marriage. Yeah, after he got caught, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 2010, two explosions occurred in a busy shopping district of Stockholm, Sweden, killing one and injuring two others. Officials says the incident is being treated as a terrorist attack. I wonder if anything, if anybody claimed responsibility for that. Uh, 2012, 125 people were killed and 200 additional were injured by bombings in Accra, Syria. And we also have uh, a British physicist Stephen Hawking won the $3 million Fundamental Physics Prize, the most lucrative academic prize in the world. Hell yeah. Rest in peace, Stephen Hawking. Yeah. You know, despite him not believing in a soul in any of that, I believe that he's in heaven, you know. Uh, solving mathematical equations for God. Because <laughs> if anybody would be able to, it would be him. So, uh, 2012, HSBC Bank settled with U.S. authorities to pay $1.9 billion for drug cartel money, uh, money laundering. Wow. 2013, 20 people were killed by the bubonic plague in a small Madagascan village. Whoa. I mean, the plague is still around, you know. Yeah. It, like we have you know, modern medicine and such, you know, cures it. We have a cure for it, but that doesn't mean it's gone. If you, you have know? access, the poor country don't have access. To yeah, it. that's true. Although there is SARS. Like, hasn't SARS been eradicated? Other than like what we have in a in a library somewhere. I don't know. So no idea. I'm not sure. Uh, 2013, Pope Francis was named Time Magazine's Person of the Year, and I haven't really heard much about this guy. I've heard a couple bad things though. I'm not sure, so I don't know. Uh, 2014, um, CIA Director John Brennan defends inter, um, defended interrogation methods used after 9-11, but admitted some methods were abhorrent. Yep. 2014, oh my goodness, okay. World's first penis transplant procedure by a team from Stellenbosch University in Tyreberg Hospital in Cape Town, South Africa. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, you know, now uh, we have, uh, you know, a, a, a Johnson swap. So. <laughs> uh, 2015, Playboy magazine published its last nude issue. Features Pamela Anderson on the cover. All right. 2015, unrest in Burundi led to clashes between authorities and protesters in Bujumbura, killing at least 87. Yikes. And then one year later, 2016, bombing at a chapel in Cairo, Egypt, kills 25 and wounds 45 more. Yeah, yikes. You know, church and, you know, church, mosque, synagogue, temple, whatever it is, you know, like, like there's, there's just areas where you just don't do things. You know, I don't care how much hate you have in your heart, 
you know, just, just there's some areas in the world where you just leave people alone, you know? And that's especially in religious areas. I'm sorry. 2016, Kazakhstan voted in a referendum to change the constitution to give the government more power. That is not a good move. No. Whoa! Huh. Very stupid. 2017, an attempted uh, you know, self-annihilation terrorist bomb attack in New York wounded three. The bomb failed to fully detonate. Okay. So, like, like, how, how does something half explode? It's just know. like, just like, explode, and then like, oh, never mind. I, I don't know. Um, but, uh, you know, thankfully, you know, it didn't fully de detonate, you know. 2017, landmark trial for Huntington's disease in London announced positive results. First time a drug has been able to slow an incurable brain disorder. Ooh, that's nice. I've never heard of that, yeah. Yeah. Saudi Arabia announced an end to its 35-year ban on cinemas, so now people can go see movies and everything. And that's right. I remember, like, uh, we were talking about him uh, just uh, yesterday, um, Gabriel Iglesias. No. Oh. He does a whole bit about uh, going to Saudi Arabia. Oh, yeah, yeah. But they had to go all the way out into the yeah. desert because yeah. any form of entertainment in the city was prohibited by law. So they had to go all the way out, you yeah, know, I to that whole bit. It's a, it's a good, funny thing. Yeah. Yeah, and, he, and he, he goes on about, like, you know, the first time he was actually called an American comedian, not a Latina comedian. Oh. You know, because if he was a Latina comedian, he'd be on Telemundo or whatever, yeah. you know, as he said. You know, he just, he's a, he's a comedian that happens to be Latino. Yeah, right. He's of the United States. He yeah. is a United States citizen, a, a U.S. and American comedian. Yeah. But people don't call him that, especially, you know, even here. You know, he had to go all the way to Saudi Arabia to be called what he actually is. You but... Know? And, you know, and I agree with what you're saying, but his humor is... Well, no, that's what he said. I'm, I'm literally quoting what he said. I know. And, but it's also his humor yeah. is an ethnic humor. So, oh, yeah. So that's where it comes from, too. Yeah. You know, what are you doing with all these cakes? It's bakery. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Anyway, 2017 as well. Guy. Yeah, he, he is. I uh, we we both remember this one. Six wildfires in Southern California now cover an area larger than New York City and Boston yeah, combined. Yeah, 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 Can you yeah. imagine that amount of land on fire at, at once? Like that's what we live through out here in California. Like that's it's pretty wild stuff. 2018, the Arctic is experiencing unprecedented warmth caused by human caused climate change. Uh, yeah, BS propaganda crap. According to U.S. National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration report, yeah, human it caused. It's not, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, are we are we causing some of it? Yes. Is it any form of a significant amount? Hell no. You know, yeah, we're we're dropping the bucket. Yeah, we can do things, but in the grand scheme of things, we're a flea sneeze in the face of a wildebeest fart. You know. Like, and if Mother Nature gets pissed off at what we're doing, it'll clean up the mess. Oh, yeah, no so problem. That's the point. It'll clean us up faster than uh, Gavin Newsom cleaned out San Francisco. <laughs> you know, tell you what. Oh. Uh, <laughs> bringing politics directly into the show. <laughs> anyway, 2018, Time Magazine Person of the Year. 2018 is The Guardian's journalists targeted for their work, including Jamal Kasagi. Kasagi. Whatever. Um, all right. 2019, Bougainville voted to become independent of Papua New Guinea in a referendum. Okay, that's really cool. Yeah. And this is what I was talking about. 2019, climate change activists or climate activist Greta Thunberg is named Time Magazine's Person of the Year. Very fitting, as I said, you know, to uh, fit alongside uh, Austrian. So, I mean, with uh, with her mentality and everything. Uh, but then again, she is a puppet. You know, I can't rag on her too much. She's brainwashed, the poor girl. So. 2019, India passed controversial citizenship amendment bill clearing way for citizenship for immigrants from Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Afghanistan, but not if they are Muslim. So, okay. <laughs> are you kidding me? So, just... Uh, what country was this again? Uh, India. Okay. okay, well, that's why it's controversial. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, hey, anybody in a Muslim nation, you're allowed to come here if you're not Muslim. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, good luck with the, that trickle. Uh, 2019, militants attacked an army base in 80s, Niger, killing at least 71. Islamic State claim responsibility. Yikes. Oh, man, we have uh, quite a few articles left here. Uh, 2020, European Union leaders agreed to cut uh, net carbon emissions by 55% in the next decade. There's more of that climate crap. Yeah. 
We also have the first same-sex civil union registered in Bolivia after a two-year legal battle by activists. You know, well, I'm all for that, yeah. you know? Oh, sure. Like, you know, you know let, let people love each other within consent, you know? Of so, course, within consent. Yeah. Well, you know, like, well, you know, people come up, like, you know, love is love. It's like, you know, not between a 13-year-old and a 20-year-old. Yeah. You know, come on. Anyway, 2020, gunmen storm a school in Kanurika, or Kankara, Katisina states, northern Nigeria, kidnapping more than 300 students. Boko Haram later claims responsibility. I know that name. That is, yikes. Ugh. 2020 as well as well, U.S. Supreme Court rejected lawsuits by Tejas to overturn Joe uh, Brandon's election in four battleground states endorsed by 17 Republican Attorney Generals. Yeah, they're still fighting stuff like this now. Like, just recently they're talking about their findings with the stuff in Arizona. Remember a couple mm -hmm. months ago? Yeah. So, you know, but, man, by the time they get all this stuff figured out, it's going to be 2050. It's ridiculous. 2022, just last year, Karen Bass sworn in as first female mayor of Los Angeles by Vice President Kamala Harris, declared a, homeless, a homelessness state of emergency in the city. Uh, yeah, you think? So they put so. Her, her Kamala Harris up there in the picture, not... And yeah, square not Karen in. Bass. <laughs> Why didn't they put Karen Bass up there? Oh, well, because yeah. Kamala Harris. Yeah. So uh, We also have Mark uh, Scheiman and Scott Whitman's musical Some Like It Hot, based on the 1959 feature film comedy, opened at the Schubert Theater, New York City, garners 13 Tony Award nominations. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's a lot of nominations there. We also have NASA's Orion spacecraft return to Earth after completing Artemis 1 test flight around the moon in 25 and a half days. Record distance traveled by a spacecraft designed to carry humans. We were talking about Artemis last weekend. You know, we're, we're going back to the moon. That's a, yeah. that's, that's yeah. our modern day Apollo missions, Artemis. Yeah. So, okay. And then we also have, last but not least, U.S. authorities announced that the Libyan man accused of making the bomb on board Pan Am Flight uh, 103, Abu Aguila Masoud, is now in U.S. custody. Yeah. All right. That's good. Yeah. And that shall conclude the show. Once again, please check the under bar in the description below for any links you may find interesting, including one limited to all things Omni Coalition. We're not just on YouTube. We're not just on Rumble. We're on BitChute. We're on Odyssey. We're on all sorts of other places. Anyway, for uh, Europe Dose of Fast Events Daily, we stream almost every day at 11 in the morning Pacific time, which is 12 noon Mountain, 1 Central, and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, respectively. Um, you know, uh, our other shows, you know, we do uh, the Omni Coalition News Show on uh, Fridays. We have the Peanut on Sundays. We have Theon on Saturdays. And uh, we're still in the works of doing uh, the Omni Kitchen and Inosh and some other stuff. But anyway, for all of you and all of us, I am Eo Xander. Golden Lamb. And you, viewer, are you. Thank you again uh, so much for watching. And until you see us again, whenever that is, wherever that is, don't forget to look right and left at every intersection, rate five thumbs, and subscribe. Toodles. And that's the end. Where's the button? There it is.